Raw wedding. Meghan Markle's family is... Is her father, Thomas, has reportedly worked in cahoots with paparazzi to stage a series of images to sell to the press. Thomas Barclay's made thousands, 180 grand from these shots, which show him looking lonely and browsing images of his daughter and Prince Harry online from an internet cafe with the lowdown. <laughs> the inside story on this bloke, Rob Jobson, our royal editor. Rob, what the hell is he doing? He's cashing in big time, isn't he? Well, big time. And the, the problem is, he's trying to make out that he's a reclusive figure, that the palace have got involved, saying he needs to have no photographs taken of him, that, you know, he, he doesn't want that to happen. They've issued letters to all the newspaper editors saying you've got to leave him alone. Yet he's in the cahoots with this paparazzi, splitting the money probably 50-50. We don't know the exact details. But clearly, with, from the CCTV cameras, you can see yeah. it's all staged. It just looks Ridiculous. So they're, they're really paying big money for these photos, all the tabloid media over here, aren't they? Well, over here and all around the world, I mean, America too, there, there's a yeah. big market for this. And although he stayed silent, unlike his children have been sort of, as I said, coin-operated, they see the, the more you feed in, the more they say, he stayed silent. But he's got the embarrassment now. He hasn't met the Queen or anybody yet. Hasn't even, I don't, we don't even think he's met Harry yet. He's going to be turning out uh, back here in London in a couple of days. So, and then so he's got all that do problem. we know about that meeting yet? Because he, he's going to meet the family. They're going to meet him. Will it sort of be a royal audience in one of the big glitzy rooms? Will I, it be a barbecue, a picnic with the family? I think or? what they're going to do is they're, they're, they're going to meet them gradually. They're going to be staying at one of the palaces anyway, probably oh, Windsor Castle, okay. with the mother was as well. And so they are definitely going to meet the Queen, Duke of Edinburgh, uh, Charles, Camilla, William, William Harry, and uh, and um, Kate. When it all happens, we don't know, but it, it's uh, going to be one big event. I would think it'd be one big event, and I'd love to hear what the Duke of Edinburgh had to say about it. I'd <laughs> love to be a fly on the wall, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's terrific. Yeah. Now, Chelsea Davy, one of Harry's old flames, um, he's got a few coming to the wedding. Is she one of them? She's supposed to be one coming to the wedding, but um, there's reports today that she's not going to be invited to the the, the party, the after party. Oh, this is Frogmore. Prince Charles' as one that the yeah. Fergie's not going uh, to. Frogmore, yeah. yeah. Well, it's going to be a limit of around 200 people at that. I mean, I've always found this rather odd, this aristocratic um, thing of inviting your ex-girlfriends to the wedding and, and yeah. boyfriends to the wedding. It seems to me a bit four weddings and a funeral and fraught with danger. <laughs> Exactly right, <laughs> particularly with her family there as well. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm. Rob, good to see you. Thank see you for that. Well, there's speculation that they'll be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex or something. Did, does she have to give a title to them? She doesn't necessarily have to give a title to them. Uh, they, they could go by Prince uh, Harry or Henry, as he is officially known, of Wales, and uh, Princess Henry of Wales. Um, but it, it is usually custom that the Queen does right. grant a title. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, and we'll find out on the actual morning of the wedding yeah. whether they've got a title. And, and as titles go, is Duke and Duchess of Sussex, so do you have a totem pole of Dukes and Duchesses <laughs> sort it's, of merit? It's one of those things where most dukedoms, I think, are, are pretty much taken now. So right. there is there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of dukedoms out there, but I think the, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex Sussex, it's one of those titles ex extinct at the moment. It's uh, ready to be revived. We yeah. did hear that William and Kate might have even taken it before they got married, and even before that, Prince Edward, um, yeah. who became the Earl of Wessex, he's potentially uh, going to or should take the uh, Duke of Edinburgh title when Prince Philip's uh, no longer here. Oh, but, oh, but, but, that's putting it but, down here on the go. Conversation, yeah, Steve. Steve, we could be careful because yeah. we're near the tower. Well, so yeah. Yeah. Down the road. It's only down <laughs> there. Exactly. Uh, what would the Americans want to want to go? Uh, they'd, they'd rather stay a princess, wouldn't you think, Steve? I think everyone likes the idea of her, yeah, being called a princess, but she can't be called princess. Megan, technically, right, is that she'd right. have to be... If she is a princess, she can be called Prince... Yes. Princess, princess Henry. Princess Henry. Yes. Henry. Yeah, Henry. She can oh, take his name. All, yeah. all of those... That etiquette stuff is all fascinating yeah. all the world. But I guess in terms of wedding gifts, it's cheaper than a set of plates and some cutlery. <laughs> Just, yeah. just to give him a duke them. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. pay for it. What about this rumour that you, because they're giving the gifts to charity, they're saying to people give to charity, is there a secret gift registry? There, were, there yeah, was a yeah, rumour about that. There was a rumour that? that there's a, a gift registry, and um, we understood that, that William and Kate had one. Uh, it's, it, I think it's quite normal. I mean, you, if you're in that kind of public light and you want to do good, you want to 
There are a lot of people wanting to send this couple gifts, and there will be a lot of people wanting to be involved in some way with this wedding. And I think the best way they can do that and kind of feel that attention is by deflecting it onto causes mm. that they rightfully see as, as needing the help. Uh -huh. So, But obviously friends, close friends, family will want to give gifts, and they're starting life as a new married couple. They'll want to do up the house that they eventually get. Yeah, so, get so there would be... A toaster and a che cheese platter yeah. and stuff like that. You can imagine <laughs> that now. <laughs> Meghan Markle's father has been caught on camera allegedly cooperating with paparazzi to stage photos of himself. The 73-year-old, who is due to walk his daughter down the aisle this weekend, was filmed setting the scene with a photographer at an internet cafe. The image they shot was quickly snapped up by media across the world and it showed him looking at an image of the former actress and Prince Harry. It comes despite pleas from Kensington Palace for paparazzi to leave Ms Markle's family alone. Whoops. Now, as we count down to the royal wedding, photos have emerged of Meghan Markle enjoying an Italian holiday with her best friend. Now, the pictures were taken a little while ago, just a month after her first date with Harry. Meghan was on a getaway with Jessica Mulroney, who has been helping with the wedding planning, and they're seen enjoying drinks by the water on the Amalfi Coast, mm. as well as enjoying the sights. Chatting about Harry, I bet. Mm. Now, back in London, there is a royal wedding snub brew. Fergie, Whoa. the Duchess of York, has reportedly been left off the guest list. And it's not the first time. She had her own royal wedding and knows what it's like as a royal bride-to-be in the global spotlight. To love, cherish and to obey. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Her split with Prince Andrew created tension in the royal ranks. Several scandals, including attempts to broker access to the royal family, further tested that trust. Five hundred thousand uh, pounds when you can to me. Open doors. New Prince Andrew. Yeah. Is that deal? Yeah. Fergie was noticeably absent from Kate and Will's big day, even telling Oprah how awkward it was. It was uh, so difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, because I wanted to be there with my girls and to and to be get, getting them dressed and to go mm -hmm. as a family mm -hmm. and also it was so hard because uh, the last bride up that aisle was me. This time she is invited to the ceremony but it seems Prince Charles may still hold a grudge. He's throwing a private party for 250 guests at Frogmore House after the main wedding reception. Prince Andrew and the couple's kids Eugenie and Beatrice both nabbed invites leaving poor old Fergie ending the night early. Oh. Uh, James Brooks from Royal Central joins us live from London. James, good to see you. So Fergie's been excluded before from the actual wedding of Kate and Will. She's going to this one, but not the party. What's She's still on the outer, is she? She is indeed, yeah, it's uh, it's true. It's one of those things that, unfortunately, Fergie, um, she's no longer classed as a, uh, a member of the royal family, and uh, there are senior royals, particularly Prince Philip, uh, Prince Charles, who really you just can't forgive and forget. They uh, they mm. kind of blame her for the uh, the breakdown of the marriage between her and Prince Andrew. So it's one of those things that, yeah, she's nabbed a, uh, supposedly nabbed a, uh, an invite to the uh, the day uh, celebration, to, uh, the service in uh, St George's Chapel and then the uh, lunchtime reception. But uh, obviously Prince Charles hosting the evening, uh, evening do and uh, she won't be there if it's mm. uh, anything for him to go mm. by. Do you think Charles might change his mind about that? Because apparently she's been complaining to friends and it's all all over London and now it's reached Australia that she's annoyed that she's not going to the nighttime do. Well, she's not one for keeping her thoughts to herself. You can definitely say that. You only have to look at her uh, Twitter account once uh, Princess Eugenie announced her uh, engagement. Uh, and uh, she was quite sycophantic in the, uh, the messages she put out in there. So who knows? I mean, Prince Charles... Um, Again, the excuse that the, the evening do is a bit smaller, they'll want really close friends and family there. And I, I would think that yeah. he'll probably see it as a bit of a compromise. The fact that she's already going to the uh, the day's celebrations, um, hopefully for him it'll be a compromise. And as some poor soul at Kensington Palace or Buckingham Palace has to actually uh, uh, kind of not send the invite out. So uh, although he uh, has his own thoughts, uh, I very doubt we'll hear yeah. them from the uh, the horse's mouth, so to speak. She's a bit of a whinger, isn't she? She's going the wedding and then the reception. It's just not the 
Prince Charles's party. Um, hey, Harry and Meghan have broken plenty of traditions. Is it true we won't see them kiss on their wedding day? Oh, well, I think that's very unlikely. It wouldn't be a royal mm. wedding, would it, without, no. a, uh, without a kiss? And, uh, yeah, it dates all the way back to, uh, to Prince Charles and uh, Diana on the, uh, on the balcony and, obviously, William and Kate as well. Um, I think the difference here is, obviously, it is in Windsor. It's an hour away from London. There's no way that we're going to see Meghan and Harry go all the way back to London, go up onto the balcony, do their kiss, and then get back to Frogmore for the, uh, the evening do. I think we'll probably see a kiss, and it'll probably be on the west steps uh, just before they go down the steps into their carriage uh, to, obviously, take them all around Windsor but right. uh, yeah they'll get a mm. nice little kiss I would have thought give the uh, the cameras oh, something God. to uh, that's what smile we about. want yes. get us to the west steps yeah. remember that yeah. I'll use my elbows and we'll push through the crowd of hundreds of thousands <laughs> um, James thank you we're looking yeah. forward thank to next week thank you very week. much Sam we'll look forward to seeing you next see week see you then Bye. look forward to a good pash after a wedding uh, <laughs> well, well, well for the bride and groom <laughs> No comment. Yes, Eddie? Of oh, okay. I just thought because we were no. pushing through the crowd together. No. Don't get overly excited. Yes, it's all right. No passion from us.